so I started my military career when I was 18 years old. I was active duty in the Marine Corps. Um, and in that position, I fixed everything electronic uh, in terms of communication equipment on tanks and Jeeps and backpack radios. And then there was a long hiatus. I, I did four years. I was an E5 when I got out and uh, discovered my love of all things medical. And I, I think the the comparison here would be that I'm, I'm diagnosing now, but just different, you know, now I'm di diagnosing people versus, versus equipment. So clearly it's a passion. So I came into the Massachusetts National Guard in 2013. I direct commissioned, uh, I was a physician assistant, fully fledged at that point and uh, working and I met a recruiter at a pharmacology conference and uh, fell in love again. This is a family. Make no mistake, this is a family, and uh, it, it's just amazing to see how uh, we get to support each other, how we are supported. Um, I'm currently in a doctorate program. Uh, the, the Army is paying for that. I'm, I'm using the GI Bill, and uh, I mean, what a fabulous thing that is, what a great opportunity it's providing me. And then I'll get to take that information, that degree, that body of knowledge, and, and give it back uh, in so many ways. You know, it's an amazing, awesome responsibility to be a medical provider. There's this giant scope of practice. There is the privilege uh, to take care of patients, and in this case, to take care of soldiers. Um, and if you put that in the context of an emergency such as this, this virus that you know we're doing battle with uh, now, um, it's it's an all hands on deck situation um, to protect people, to protect our our colleagues to protect the citizens of this state, uh, to plan and be medically ready to address whatever it's gonna bring our, our way. I mean, right now it's uncharted waters. Being, being a physician assistant, in my humble opinion, is one of the best professions. It's certainly one of the best things that I've ever done with my life. Um, I consider it a privilege. Um, I consider it an awesome responsibility. Uh, to take care of people, the breadth of medical knowledge that we're responsible for. Um, before I was, I'm currently active duty in the Massachusetts Army National Guard right now, but just prior to that, a year and a half ago, I was the chief physician assistant at Brigham and Women's Hospital for lung and kidney transplant. So all, you know, also an awesome responsibility. And now, you know, take those abilities and that body of knowledge and turn it over and, and broaden it into this experience of taking care of all of the soldiers in the Army National Guard. Um, so now, you know, now you're, you're managing not just the clinical things that you have to know, but also the administrative things of planning and taking care of people responding, this pandemic uh, that we're, we're trying to get, you know, a handle on right now. Um, it's, it's an incredible, rewarding thing. You'll be so proud of, of what you do, not just for your colleagues, but for the citizens of the state, for your nation. It's a, it's a terrific responsibility.